after this one. I want to take a look on this one. I like Astex War. Uh. Sorry, I was scratching. Oh, okay. So, Astex War, let's take a look. Oh, I can see that this map is absolutely ridiculous. Like, so many heals around his town center. That's so fucking bad. Uh, shit, this still the same. What he means by that. Let's take a look. Ready? Have fun. Still the same. I have no idea. Anyway, uh, Tout map has some heals on the front, but apart from that, he has a nice map. He can place some town centers on the stone, uh, gold as well. Our, uh, another town center here would be perfect. He would take two gold at the same time. Uh, what else? He has front stone, but he has back gold. So his map is really good. I can't say the same for the Taurus guy. Uh, he has back gold and wood. But seriously, so many heals around. And his stone is on the front. And the other stone is like so far. Not really, not such a great map. Uh, you need to be careful with Rush. <laughs> like, if your guy goes Drush, Man of Arms and Archers on you. And you try to wall an FC, you're pretty much dead because the heal makes such a big difference. You know, even the guy has no flashing, he's gonna rape your villagers still, so that's really sucks. And that's being a good boy here is not stealing the ships, and that's one thing I love to do on Aztec's War. I love, I love to steal things, man. So important that you do it. Uh, special tournaments and important matches, always do it, man. Uh, anyway, maybe it's gonna be Drush War, I don't know, uh, that's taking the wood on the back, uh, yeah, he's gonna Drush, let's take a look on Taurus, I think he's gonna Drush as well, so that's interesting, oh, he's gonna take the boar, oh, no, he's not, okay, <gasps> whoa, such a fair boar, Anyway, one more to the wood. Please do a house. Don't be housed. Oh. Let's see what can I say about this game. So, Aztec's War is really important that you try to uh, steal enemies, of course, because when you do it, uh, he ca you kind of fuck his economy. Like, Aztec has the perfect economy to drush five leeches and go few, though, as fast as they can. Uh, but when you steal boars and ships, uh, he needs to do something differently, you know. He needs to, I don't know, take deers or do more farms and this kind of affects his economy a little bit. So sometimes people that get bo uh, boars stolen, they don't even drush, they try to wall an FC or something like that. And it's really good when you drush because you kind of win the territory on the Dark Age and like you have that advantage you can choose if you want to rush or want to go castle as well but if you'd rush uh, it's good because you have you had the five militias so you can upgrade mana terms and do a really really strong rush on the enemy and he's gonna have such a hard time to uh, defend from you because by the time he gets crossbows and plus two you're gonna have a lot of archers and skirmishers so it's gonna be like it, if you do really well, if you attack well and you try to kill as much as you can, it's gonna be GG. Anyway, let's get back from the fight over here. Oh, you should, you should be aiming for the ego. Like, I always say that, but it's so important to, to kill the ego. And it's so important that you don't lose the ego as well. Okay, so big fight over here going on. Doubt is being pre is pressuring. He's being aggressive. Oh, what you're doing with this villager, man? Oh, Jesus, don't lose it. It's gonna be so bad if you... Oh, okay. So, five militias each. Uh, Doubt's taking the deers on the front. Maybe he's gonna rush or something. I don't know. Uh, oh, this <laughs> this farm is so bad, man. You should have done here or here. Oh, Jesus, no, man. Don't do this. Delete. Don't do this farm, man. Oh, Jesus. Why would you do, like, once... 
why would you take one step one one space to do a farm you need to do it as close as you can to the town center man okay so Taurus being aggressive right now oh not to go to fight he's gonna lose everything there even he's on the hill but the villagers yeah not such an interesting idea to try to hit with the villagers so close so yeah HGB now is a good time to fight he's in the hill but he didn't oh he's gonna he's gonna but the eagle is so far man but still that's interesting because he's gonna take out the eagle uh let's take a look he might he might win this fight oh jesus what this village is doing <laughs> he has some drunk militias but that's okay uh he killed the eagle uh oh no no not so good Dot still have four militias man and he only has two kind of fucked and one ego so he just killed one ego and one relation that was not uh, such a good trade for him now that ha that has a big advantage especially oh no don't lose the ego oh nice nice micro so and also he's kind of late to feel though and i don't recommend do doing such a late upgrade when you're so close to the enemy when and when your map is like impossible to wall you know uh, you should go as fast as you can to feudal because let's take a look at doubt yeah doubt is like upgrading a long time ago he's gonna rush for sure i think uh he's taking gold yeah he is but i don't think he will straight castle he might try to rush especially because he still have three militias yeah three militias oh yeah he's still taking so doubt is doing VH strategy <laughs> uh, okay seems like the, the the sound is okay so doubt still doing militias he's gonna rush with mana arms and maybe archers and skirmishers maybe a forward because towers map is so fucking bad and this is the thing when you play against good players you you kind of need uh you kind of need uh luck you know you need a good map uh and <laughs> Taros had a really really bad map over here oh please wall here oh by the way he saw that doubt still making the militias you know uh he just saw three come in here and plus two and a villager here so he should have done more militias like he's not doing militias and he knows he's gonna be rushed so it's so important that you do it because looks look how many militias he has he's, he's gonna do more minute times that's so bad <coughs> sorry so now it's gonna rush that's gonna probably put ta tower over here uh, let's take a look on how Taurus is is gonna do what's gonna do oh don't do oh don't do this man uh, seriously really not good especially when there is so many minute times close to you to such a advanced archer range and a tower kind of useless tower under the hill not so good i would have done at least here on the top of the hill with the tower you know oh he's gonna lose all this not good that is affecting his economy so bad oh he really needs to finish that tower oh jesus that's not good that's really not good it might be gg Oh, he managed to 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 finish the tower, okay. But still, three men and a charm is here. He just lost two villagers. That's not pretty really good. His economy is really really affected. Uh, he doesn't have wood to make another archer range. It might be GG. He just lost the tower. Uh, yeah, I think that was a close. That was a faster game. Let's take a look, and I'm gonna explain some things after it finishes. Okay, so that still didn't make the tower. He's gonna probably put around here, take out the wood and gold, and it it might be GG right there. Um, he he still doesn't have the fletching, but he just finished it blacksmith, so he's gonna finish it. Yeah, tower going on. That was such a bad tower. So tower going on. Uh, I think it might be GG. He doesn't have uh, wood enough to make another lumber camp. I think, and this this many times are making such a big damage on his economy. Uh, let's see. Hmm. Maybe he's still gonna try. I don't know. 
Oh, another villager died. Fletching on. He doesn't have blacksmith. Uh, he's taking. Oh, he did two militias now. But I have no idea why. Oh, it's totally GG, man. No, no. And I also never stop doing villagers. It's so important that you don't. Uh, he did. He's kind of. I don't know. He's kind of lost here. Like. He, he's probably thinking, what should I do now? And I would say there is nothing you can do. Uh, when you have bad maps, you need to use it really well. Like, you need to come up with another strategy. Uh, you need to study your map and see what. Uh, I'm gonna t talk about it later. Uh, okay, so he's gonna break in. Uh, it might be over for Taurus. He's still doing the. He's still trying. He has a decent amount of food, but th this just look ugly. <laughs> so many villagers not working there. He should do another lumber camp away, you know. Uh, Doubt's just doing archers. He, he has like a really good economy. He's finishing with a barrel. Uh, he's gonna break in, and he has the tower here. So might be GG for Taurus. But I don't know, that's just just doing Archer, so who knows, right? This might be a longer game than I, than I thought. <laughs> Sorry. I'm getting sick, that sucks. So the rally point is over there. He uh, Taurus just made, like, he didn't make villagers for such a long time. That was not good for him. Uh, he finally decided to make another number camp right there. That's good. But I think it might be over. He has only one, two, three, four farms. He's not taking the berries right now. I don't think he has f horse color. Or he does. Uh, no, I don't think so. So that's not really good for him. Doubt's just gonna keep doing archers, upgrade castle. And you can see Doubt's not like the most aggressive player ever. Oh, he's doing barracks, so he might be. He might be castling. Oh, he's really close to castle. Okay. So that's not like the most aggressive, he's just, just, you know, he knows that he has the advantage, he's just camping there. He knows that he's safe, he just upgraded Castle. Uh, uh, okay, the archers are coming. Uh, but that's gonna lose a lot of them. Oh, mm, not such, oh, he doesn't have Fletching, that's why. Oh, Taurus, why you didn't upgrade Fletching, man? You could have killed all these archers. You maybe still could have a chance, but I think right now it's over. GG. It was a pleasure playing with you, Jelly Turb opponents. Yeah, but that is that is not on the tournament anymore, man. Good job, Taurus. You did well, especially well, especially on the first game, man. The Hans War. But like it's this kind of mistakes that cost the game. So let me explain about this game. So uh, on Astix War, as I said, it's important that you try to lame, especially when you're playing against better players. You need to do something to hurt him as fast as you can. You know, especially on Dark Age, so important. Uh, by the way, so you saw that he was skip doing the so like you killed his ego right there, right? But you didn't use your ego so well, like you did a GBR and tried to explore left side or something like that, I can't remember. But you should have gone right here with the ego to see what's going on on doubt space. Because you could have seen that he was still doing the militia. And that's one thing you need to do uh, when you're so close to the enemy, you need to upgrade as fast as you can. Uh, you just can't go fast castle with this kind of maps. You can go if you're really close to the enemy, only if you can wall really well, like really easy wall, then you could try to go fast castle, but still risky strategy. So, because you can't wall and your map is so bad around, like so many hills around, like the, I would say you have such a bad map, like one of the worst you could get, uh, he would obviously go rush on you, you know? Uh, so... 
that's why you should have prevented the militias coming you had to make more of them on your barracks as well but you kind of delayed a lot of your upgrade so that was not very good for you so after that you done a tower right here that was a big waste because it was under the hill it doesn't like kill so much and also because he had so many uh, uh, mana times and he already had the archer range up so you just had one so you had like no military and he had already like 10 or something like that so obviously you would have lost the tower that was not such a good tower uh, you could had uh, you didn't you shouldn't have made the, the tower over there uh, what else I need to say mm. I think that's it oh yeah the tower uh, also don't never stop doing features so important uh, what else? <laughs> yeah, I think that was it. I, I I had something to say as well, but I kind of forgot. I should have said in the time I, I, I thought about it. But I can't remember now. Anyway, Fletching, Wheelbarrow, this kind of upgrades are really important, especially Horse Color as well. Uh, also, try to use the towers on the hill or something like that. Uh, you need to see what kind of map you have and do a strategy based on that map you know sometimes you get a map that you just can't play normal you need to do something differently because there is no way you're gonna win you know like some some maps you have no fucking wood at all and like you know that if you play normal like you go scouts and archers you're probably gonna lose because for example you have your town center here your wood here and your gold like right here <laughs> you know this kind of maps there is no way unless you do a lot of towers but you're just gonna waste uh, resource doing this kind of thing so maybe forwarding or trushing I don't know doing something differently is better so I think you guys I hope you guys enjoyed uh, thanks for the game Saurus I hope you got the the tips the tips I gave you especially on the Arabia Hans War you, you were doing uh, such a good job on the, f the start of the game probably were really nervous about it like you saw the points and you were winning I would be too as well so that's that that's normal you know but when you start getting good uh, you just don't get more uh, nervous anymore I mean sometimes you do but usually you don't so that's when you f really think about the game uh, and that's really important confidence and always think on what you should do and what the enemy is gonna do you know really really important